guys. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's going to be a comparison video between the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Foundation and this is a little sample, um, the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. <laughs> I love this foundation but it is so expensive here in Australia so I haven't bought it yet. Um, but then I was testing out this one day, the Revlon Whipped Foundation. I thought, wow, that really reminds me of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. And I still have a little bit um, that I got from Sephora when we were in Hawaii. And so I thought I would do a comparison video. So I have got nothing on my face. Nothing. <laughs> this is the real me. <laughs> and... Um, I'm just going to put these on, um, apart from moisturiser. Um, I've got nothing else on. I'm not going to use a primer or a powder because I want to see how these um, last with none of that stuff. Because usually I always use a primer and a um, powder. Sorry if I sound a little funny. Um, I'm just getting over a cold. And I'll give you updates throughout the day. So let's get right into it. So on the right side of my face, I'm going to be applying the Revlon foundation. It comes in quite a heavy glass jar, which is really unnecessary. I mean, it does make the products look quite high end, but they're both the same consistency. So they both have this mousse kind of um, feel to it. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my hands like that. It feels so nice when you put it on. And I'm just going to dot it on this side of the face. Okay, so I've got that much on. And I'm just going to use the Sigma F80 to buff that in. So it has really good coverage. And it doesn't smell. <laughs> it doesn't have a... Um, potent smell if you know what I mean. I even sometimes apply this foundation with my fingers and it looks it looks fine. Alright so that's one layer of the Revlon foundation on this side of my face. I don't have a lot of blemishes or dark under eye circles at the moment thank goodness. <laughs> so it does quite a good job at just evening out my complexion. Um, but just for the sake of the video I'm going to apply a second layer doesn't smell like anything really and then when you smell it you have to like kind of get really close to it to smell it like it's not like the um the normal Revlon color stay which has quite a um strong scent <laughs> all right now I'm going to take the Laura Mercier silk cream foundation on the left side of my face this one smells quite a bit more than um the whipped foundation um Smells a little bit like paint, but it's not as potent as the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Foundation. Definitely has the same feel as the whipped Revlon Whipped. Um, I think the shade that the girl gave me to test out was the wrong shade, but it's okay because I make it work and I blend it in and stuff. And now I'm just going to blend it in quite pigmented and then I'm just going to bring it down my neck just because it doesn't match perfectly and that one looks very nice too quite similar which is what I thought they would be like they both apply quite the same I would say that the Laura Mercier is probably a bit more pigmented. Now just looking at I would say that the Revlon foundation gives more of a matte appearance and the Laura Mercier looks a little bit more natural, more dewy kind of. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but I definitely can. Because it's not as mattifying as the Revlon foundation, I do find it's emphasizing my pores. Um, but of course, if I would have worn a primer underneath this, um, then I don't think that would have been a problem. 
they both feel the same a little bit tacky because I haven't set it with powder so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then show you again and we'll go from there okay so I've got the rest of my makeup on now and I will be updating you guys throughout the day as to how my makeup is going it is you can even see it can you see the top? fail it is 10.58 I hope you can see that 10.58? yeah you can kind of see that alright it's 10.58 and I'll be updating you guys throughout the day hey guys so just a little check up to see how I'm going it is 2.12 now so it's been three hours since I first applied my foundation and let's have a look so it still looks pretty good pretty much the same as when I applied it maybe a little bit shinier but not like oily shiny kind of dewy shiny which is good <laughs> um, but I haven't been doing any strenuous activity or um, it hasn't been hot today obviously because it's winter here in Australia <laughs> so I think it's been around 20 degrees here today um, all I've done is like go on and get some groceries and check the mail and then came home and made lunch for mum and myself um, so yeah I mean it looks like it's holding up really good Okay, so it's been eight hours or a little bit over eight hours since I've applied both of the foundations and it is now 7.24. So, let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so I definitely looking a little oily, <laughs> um, mainly in my T-zone and it looks like the foundation has worn off um, my chin and a bit around my nose because I'm looking a bit red but that's uh, to be expected because when I'm sitting at the computer editing I do this a lot and you know that rubs on your chin and rubs your foundation off and all that stuff but it is looking pretty good apart from you know the patchiness like on the chin and around the nose which is what I expected because I didn't use a primer or a powder I really don't see a difference to be honest one side is definitely not oilier than the other they look a lot the same I mean if anything I would say that the Laura Mercier side might be the tiniest little bit shinier but that is nothing to complain about because you can't really really tell um, yeah so that's been a really good test. Um, just as I thought, they're very, very similar products. Final thoughts? They're really not that different at all. They feel the same. They have the same mousse texture. They smell differently. The Laura Mercier definitely has a more paint smell. The Colorstay um, Whipped Foundation, it doesn't really have a smell at all. Application is the same. Uh, Laura Mercier is probably a little bit more pigmented. The uh, finish of the Laura Mercier is probably a little bit more natural than the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. Uh, keep in mind that this is without using a primer or a powder, so this is just straight from the bottle. <laughs> Nothing else to um to help along the way. So yeah, um, I hope this little experiment helped you guys out. Buy um, the Silk. Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in Australia. I think it's $65 to buy the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation in Australia. It's $34, so it's half price. Um, sometimes they go on sale, so I got I actually got mine for $24. Um, at Priceline a few weeks ago. But yeah, I'm really happy with this and I hope this helped you guys out and if you liked my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching guys. Bye!